Why hello there? Why hello there? And welcome back to my let's play of Tomb Raider 3. This is Jamie Clough Gaming here. And this is part 3. And in this part, we continue the first level, Jungle. Um, not a great hulking level, but I suppose I could have just left it as one video. It's only out long. Given the upload speeds on YouTube, I decided to split the video in two irregardless because I seem to have a look of just under an hour long. We'll be able to get away with one video. If it's over an hour long, I can't split it up a bit. Um, the problem <coughs> comes when. <coughs> the secret. And it's a rocket. Mm. The first time in the series we have a rocket. What do rockets do? Mm. Rocket launcher. Don't have a rocket launcher. Yet. Yet. Also, this game is the, <laughs> the second and the last to feature the harpoon gun. A gun so good, that's worse than useless. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So already, um, well at least five secrets. We've got five. Jesus. So there's only one more to get. And that, incredibly, it's not very far. I'm sure they down the line. Hmm. Though, to be honest, if you want to get the secrets, you probably either have to know where they are beforehand or look at a guide. I probably wouldn't have had to... Oh my god, that's loud. I probably wouldn't have had to bother with the guide so much if it wasn't for the fact I was going for all the secrets. As well as... Let's play the game, so... And there it is, no need for all the secrets. Just because it unlocks the bonus, so... I could just play the game normally and cheat to get all secrets in all levels after that. Uh, but then you have to skip the level and all sorts. I really couldn't be done with that, so I just wanted to get all secrets, irregardless, really. That's what I endeavoured, that's what I endeavoured to do. Um, when I talk, <laughs> I talk too fast, when I try to talk too fast, my voice just... Oh dear. Endeavour to do. Endeavour to do. Um. Tiger. That's a very really big, nice um, view of Lara. In fact, I think in some circumstances, the PS1 version of 4 doesn't look as well defined as the PS1 version of 3. Um, but like I said, uh, if the PS1 version was an afterthought, then that would be why. Uh, but, critically, the gameplay and atmosphere is pretty much the same uh, on all versions, so that's what matters to me, anyway. <laughs> Uh, also, that's what I got when I see other people play <laughs> Doom Major on the internet. Laura looks taller on that version, even if they put the PS version. I don't know whether that's just my setup or what, or an optical illusion. Not by much. Not by much, but it might be because got widescreen instead of. Um, Instead of, um, instead of, uh, instead of, mm, what? What's the other? <laughs> I've forgotten what it's called. Oh, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> oh, what's it called? Uh, yeah, oh, the normal screen. The, basically, the. <laughs> oh, dear. That's three borders came out of that. To be honest, if I didn't know this, oh, well. 
I would have been flattened. So I wouldn't have, I definitely would not have um, known when they come out of there. Oh, got flattened. And indeed, I replaced 24, and I think I did get flattened a few times. <laughs> but yeah, you don't need to actually go in there unless you want all secrets. Or at least one of the secrets, anyway. And that secret down there is the final secret, so the sixth secret of the level. <laughs> An idea of the game. And that, that is actually 10% of the game total of secrets found already. <laughs> it really is as well. There's 60 to find. <clears throat> or 59. Uh, you actually only need to find 59 of them to unlock the bonus level. Because due to a fault, um, where there's one extra secret in one of the levels, <clears throat> game-wide you only need 59 secrets to get all the secrets, but you can get 60, so... Mm. So it is possible to miss one of the secrets in one of the levels and still unlock the bonus, which is pretty good. Naturally, however, I think you can get where this is going. I went for all 60, <laughs> irregardless. So, um, well, the secret I was going to leave was the last secret of the game because I already had 59 on that point. So, I already had enough stuff. I couldn't get that in time. I knew where it was. So, to be honest, I did have to look it up, but I knew where it was after that. And I thought, oh, I might have problems getting that because it's time release. Um, and traditionally, uh, I'm not that good at time release in general, <laughs> so, <laughs> or timed doors, whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing, really. I'm not a good time things in Tomb Raider, so, but as it turns out, as it turns out, that secret was surprisingly easy to get. So as it turns out, I did get all 60. <laughs> And why I'm reviewing this now, I don't know, but as a problem with post I've already, I already know what I did in all areas, really. I'm just um, adding the, the finishing touches, so to speak, so but it really is a bit of bother I have to do it. Because like when I recorded this, it was just at least a month ago now, maybe even five weeks ago, six weeks ago. I think only a month later, I forgot. I forgot. Um, um, exactly how I played that. All the levels were. I pretty much knew that I, in general, what I did, and that's good enough for me, frankly. Atmosphere. This place has so much. I was shriveling with them. Um, with atmosphere. The atmospheric soundtrack. <laughs> and this um, soundtrack here is actually <laughs> an actual recording of a jungle. Um, I'm not sure whether it was an Indian one. There was a wildlife documentary I was watching where they went into a jungle. I swear I got the sound effects were exactly the same. Exactly the same as this. So this is authentic. <laughs> Not, of course, all of the soundtracks in the game are necessarily all authentic, obviously, because it's Tomb Raider. But, but like most Tomb Raider games start with a, a level set that could be realistic then it's going to get more obscure as they go on and that's, that tends to be the case with all of the classic games and then. so yeah the exception of Chronicles which is outlandish to begin with <laughs> and absurd bringing Lars and Pierre revealing that she's killed Lars and Pierre before Tomb Raider 1 and then she kills them into Murder 1 again. 
<laughs> the luck can be put out of it. Especially if it's Winston telling a story. He's, all, he's in his 80s, so he probably got the wrong names. He's probably talking about two other men she met up with. He remembers the last lost in Pierre. He goes, he's, his memory isn't what it used to be, quite frankly. His memory isn't what it used to be. But uh, of course it's a story, he won't know the exact details of it. He's just remembering something that he wasn't even technically there for. <laughs> so thus, therefore, thus therefore I can give him a free pass uh, and put some logic to the story. As I said, the two is forever. Abundant for life. <laughs> If you want to know why, I did a video on it called Burn from the That was episode one of the Jamie Clough Gaming podcast. Um, <laughs> Burn from the forums. And if you type that into Google now, you'll get the podcast. Not many people watched it though. Listen to it rather. Um, it is not <laughs> it's just. It's just a really off the top, ridiculous, uh, stupid thing uh, I didn't know what I was saying when I did it, but I thought it would be funny to put it out, so I did. And the water effects in this game are really pretty. Really, um, even though a lot of people say that by this point other games are overtaken too ready. Like Metal Gear Solid in terms of graphics. In terms of the water graphics here, um, these are really spot on, like really ahead of the time. Bearing in mind this was 1998. And in many ways, one of the PlayStation games I've played, granted I haven't played that many, uh, Tomb Raider was among the stand up graphically, but I can see, since I've never played Metal Gear Solid or some of those games, I never actually played the, the games that are better than this graphic on the PS1. I never played that many different games on the PS1. All the games I had were just demos, really. Really. But the two Raider series is the only series where pretty much where I got all the games. Well, Spider of the Dragon as well. But. Uh, I just, of course, didn't seem to bother with it after the third game. Well, that's the. Well, there's only three games on the PS1, you know, from that game. But those, a lot of people don't consider the other Spyro games to be proper Spyro games because they weren't developed by the same developers. I mean, and you can understand that line of logic because, to be honest, none of the other Spyro games have recaptured the magic. The same can be said of Tomb Raider, that after the first five games it went downhill. Um, but you could argue it started going downhill in the fifth game given that Chronos was a bit simplistic and a bit short, shorter than the others, so... Mind you, the Tomb Raider 4 engine is a good engine. So, I can see why they reused it and added a few new sound effects for Lara, and it's so good with it. It's perfectly enjoyable. Um, <laughs> it's perfectly enjoyable, yeah. Not too serious though. Um, well, some of it is, some of it is, and some of it isn't. What am I blottering on about? Who knows? <clears throat> um, why I'm talking about other things than this level, what I'm doing here, I don't know. It, it, it always happens. I never actually plan these things out. But once I try to write the commentary out before I say it, I was like, oh, I'll write it out and then I'll say what I've written down. Nah. And actually, when I ended up trying to do the commentary, I don't think I actually used the round commentary at all. It's just so dumb writing commentary out, in my opinion. Unless you're making notes on, on topic, topics to talk about in general, bullet points of what to talk about, but I don't do that either. I'm not, I'm not a professional. I kind of, Come with things on the spot, you know. So I just because the commentary that I come out with is entirely based on the things I'm saying in, in the game and the sound effects. So that's why it's important that I need sound effects in the background when I'm doing the commentary. I need something to go off on, so to speak. So 
I think it's just wait around for hours and hours, but uh, without that, that would not be technically possible. <laughs> and of course, um, now this part of the level is a bit of a puzzle. Um, it certainly had me very confused <laughs> as to exactly what you're supposed to be doing here. And it did the last time I played it, I think. And I thought I knew this level, but this part of the level, not so much really. My memory of the level is more of a general memory, especially the starting area, really. But I do remember pretty much all of it. I don't exactly remember every every single bit of it, like I would with perhaps Tomb Raider 2, for instance, where I've played about a zillion times before I did the last place. So, <laughs> but the only reason I actually played it a zillion times is because I had the iPad. <laughs> Pardon on the iPad. I didn't even have access to the PS1 version for several years because all, 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 all five of the original games disappeared. Um, they were never recovered. I don't know where they went. Of course, I re rebuy them um, on Amazon they're very cheap to, to buy so that doesn't they're not expensive games they're not new games <laughs> they are however vital for the soul in my opinion or are they really <laughs> it depends really it depends yeah see I noticed the the lines on Laura now but now Hmm. Nah. No, I just didn't notice it before, but now you get close to it, you, you can't see it, yeah. There's definitely... I mean, it's, it's not a big issue. And if it's slightly less noticeable in this game, well, that's fantastic, you know, but... <laughs> I think it's more noticeable than 204, sadly, and with me already having... Uh, up to the Alexandria section in that game. But the next few rounds I'm going to do, uh, of course, hopefully the issue won't be there anymore because I've got a new Scar Lead since then, which is of appreciatively better quality than the Asta Smart Price version, which was <laughs> cost a five or twelve years ago. But there you go. There again, I wasn't that playing twelve years ago. <laughs> I was gaming when I was last playing, so I was on YouTube. I was making YouTube videos 12 years ago. Um, but I wasn't making anything related to gaming at all. Uh, 2012. No, uh, no, record is a game off the telly for the first time. It wasn't, didn't have comment on it. Then it started playing in 2013. But the idea to do Let's Play didn't come until 2012. And it wasn't until the following year when I actually started. But even then I didn't do it professionally. Until a further four years later. Despite having the cash out in 2013. It was 2016 when I used it. Three years without it. Three years of having something and not using it once. Not using it beyond installing it because I couldn't use it. Because I didn't, because I didn't get a new telly. If I got a new telly, I could have used it straight away. Uh, I don't have the foresight to think that far ahead, unfortunately. Well, that makes a blind bit of difference. Either way, I was going to get there eventually. <laughs> and even it's taken a further four years for me to figure out how to record the game sound. I always had the ability. I just didn't know. I thought I needed something else, but I didn't. And that's embarrassing that I took that long. <laughs> Well, there you go. We're an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. Ten minutes. Yeah, like I said, this entire level is largely unedited because there wasn't... There wasn't really much to edit out. Oh, <laughs> I have not just done that. Oh no. Well, that's going to be... That's going to be just... That's just going to lock down. That's just going to lock down because um, I went down to um, 
Mm. I went down to another part of the video. I wasn't ready to comment it on by accident. That's just gonna sound stupid when you hear it. But uh, here, I don't care really. As long as it gets uploaded, has the commentary on it. Then you can hear my commentary and you can hear the game. You're a relatively professional man, that's all that matters to me. Even if you cannot stand me at all. As long as you watch the video, that's all I care about. Um, I don't care whether you like it, I don't care whether you dislike it, I don't care whether you like the like or dislike it. I don't care, quite frankly. It's, it's, it's what I do now, so... It's not all I do, but it is, sort of. Um, meaning that I do do other websites as well, you know this, but... So, you, so um, yeah. So all we have to actually do is pull a lever, that's what turns out. Or is it? Yeah, I'm, I'm not the that keen on how they've done this, but I can appreciate it. I can appreciate it for what it is, you know. Um. <laughs> um, tiger. There's not as much variety on the species of tigers in this game as there is in Terminator 2. I believe all the tigers you encounter in Terminator 3 are the same type of tiger, the orange one, the black stripes. <laughs> not that it matters too much. Um, and uh, if you look at the physics of the tiger in this game, I think it's a slight improvement over Terminator 2, but it's largely the same. Just like the character model in this game. Is, little, is the same as it is in Tiana 2, pretty much. So, uh, uh, so, uh, so, uh, so. <laughs> oh, dear. Mm. So great, can't that. Uh, fantastic. And, uh, yes. The stupidest thing about the current YouTube thing is it wasn't always called Jeremy Clough Gaming, of course. It's, it's been called Jeremy Clough Gaming for. About a year now. Mm -mm. Um, just, I just thought that was, although it's kind of just a rejig of the same thing, it, it, it connects it more with my, with my other activities and stuff. It's just a so, so, um, name can only do so much. <laughs> I'm wittering on, like, mm. I'm losing followers on Twitter. I've lost a lot of followers on Twitter. I don't want to talk about Twitter really. I've lost about 1,200 followers on Twitter. 1,200 followers in three years. So in three more years, that means I went to 2,900 um, to about 500. That's quite a lot of lossage. Yeah, You can pick up the key for the monkey, but if he picks up for you, I actually stopped and read the guide to see if there was a way of getting to drop it, or whether he dropped it eventually. I didn't actually want to kill the guy, to be honest. Because he was a friendly one. But you have to kill him. Of course, if you shoot at him, this monkey doesn't actually attack you until he dies. That's a side part. He doesn't fight back. He was completely harmless. He was just monkeying around. And you actually do have to kill him. Frankly, I've cut out the bit where I paused for five minutes to find out if he did drop the key. He doesn't. You have to kill him. If he gets it before you, you have to kill him. But it doesn't matter whether you kill the monkeys in this level or not. I'll leave them alone. Because, irregardless, that has no bearing on how friendly the monkeys are on the next level. They attack you regardless. So, uh... <laughs> the only reason to kill them would be for all kills. <laughs> um, yeah, that was the bit where I cut out. I cut out the bit where I read. Thanks to Stella, I know you have to kill the monkey to get the key. I suspected that was the case anyway. Um, or, 
Oh, there's another solution. You can cheat. Um, but then I think you'd have to press the all secrets sheet in, and then you get the item. The key. Um, then you can leave the monkey alive, I guess. But to cheat, to not to kill a monkey, I'd rather just do this the proper way. I'd rather have got the key before I got this one trying to say. Oh dear. <laughs> I do take quite a bit of damage from the tiger here. Because I, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I just. Why didn't I think to go over the green pot when it was attacking me? I could have shot him from there. What on earth was I doing? Well, thanks to the shotgun, I take him down quite quickly because of power weapon. And the only power weapon she has at this stage is that. <laughs> you press the cheats in, of course, and get the power weapon straight away. Um, but, uh, uh, unfortunately, a lot of times I cheat for save crystals. I want to make the point that the only reason I do is for save crystals because I'm, I was so rubbish at um, actually moderating the amount of save crystals I had at several points. <laughs> I had very few. And the only level set which actually gives you many is London. So now, of course, I'll have to show up because there's a cutscene! Hello? Hello? What? What do you want from me now? Nothing that taxing. Are you alright? Well, if you'd all stop, I might be just fine. Just a hundred percent. Just go! If you'd all stop, who are you talking about? All you, hundreds of you, talking and chattering and breaking my brain up. Mm hmm. Well, I'm not quite sure where you're coming from, but I just want to know about the Infada artifact. In the temple up there. <laughs> Voodoo magic and all, huh? I don't touch this stuff myself. It's not voodoo. Look, is there anyone else here with you? Yeah, Randy and Rory. Randy and Rory? Where? What are you all doing here? Well, they're staying put in that temple. I told them not to. I warned them first. Not doing much now, I doubt, under half a ton of mudslide. Me. I'm leaving. Next bus out. This jungle is rooted enough rot into me. I'd offer the same advice to you, but you don't seem like the type to take it. To care if I said you're gonna die in there. <laughs> yeah, die. Well, that was, um, Quite the cutscene there. I don't see that <laughs> well, there's a lot of point in coming back, but there is because. Well, this is the sixth screen. I got all six secrets, just to glow about getting all the secrets. You're going to be hearing that a lot. Um, but yeah, basically, see you next time. <laughs>